Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Pretty much in today's video, we're going to go over some of the best credit cards in my opinion for you guys to use for your e-commerce business. Now, if you are new to this channel, pretty much this is a finance channel dedicated to talking about credit cards, real estate, financial education, financial literacy, how to grow on social media, pretty much, yeah, finance and entrepreneurship channel. Now, if at any point in this video you have any questions, feel free to give me a comment below or follow me on Instagram uh, and DM me there where I'll pretty much answer your question a lot faster than I will on a YouTube comment. And if you are new and you are fired up for this video, give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel below for more videos just like this one. Guys, we are going to go ahead and get started with the video on some of the best credit cards for your e-commerce business. Now, the reason why I put out this video because I've been in the e-commerce game for about a year and a half, two years now, and I know that there are a lot of other people out there that are doing e-commerce as well, and they aren't necessarily getting the most bang for their buck as far as maximizing the amount of money that they could get back or the, the money that they can accumulate to either use for you know travel points, uh, hotels, flights, cashback rewards, and just different things like that. So I decided to make this video for those, you know, those guys out there, those newbies or people that have been in the game, but they just aren't maximizing the amount of money or the amount of things that they could do with having you know a credit card to use for the e-commerce business. Now I'm going to go over a few cards that I'm going to recommend to you guys for a couple reasons. Um, these cards that I'm going to recommend, they're going to be used for either cashback, they're going to be used for either hotel rewards or even uh, miles. Now I actually have a few of the cards with me, um, not to show you guys what the numbers are, but I have a few of the cards with me that I'm going to mention here in this video. Some cards I do not have just yet, but I'm still going to recommend them to you guys because they are amazing cards for you guys to have if you are looking to really explode and grow your e-commerce business. Now, now to name some cards that are awesome, that are really great for travel uh, rewards, for cashback rewards, are going to be your Capital One Venture Card, your Chase Sapphire Reserve, and your Chase Sapphire Preferred, your Discover It Miles Card, okay, your Hilton Honors Card, American Express, your Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card. Yeah, I'm pretty much so, just those five or six cards that I'm going to recommend to you guys for those people who are starting out or they've been in the e-commerce game, as well as, I almost forgot to mention, your American Express Platinum and your American Express Gold cards. So those are probably going to be your top tier cards, as well as obviously the black card, you know, your American Express um, black card. That's like next level type stuff, but these are cards that are you know more attainable and feasible for someone like you and I who are been in the game for a couple years and are just looking to really just get more points and just different things like that. Like I said, you know your American Express Platinum and your Gold cards. Now those are your top tier cards. We will get to those cards in just a moment, but we're going to go over real quick the cards that I mentioned uh, earlier, like your Capital One Venture card, your Chase Sapphire uh, Preferred, and your Discovery of Miles card, things like that. So the reason why I really like these cards is number one, they are great if you have an e-commerce business just like mine. Um, you know, Amazon drop shipping, Shopify drop shipping, uh, eBay drop shipping, or you have an e-commerce business to where you need to buy inventory, you need to buy products, uh, or especially if you are doing uh, like any type of marketing, Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads, you're paying these influ influencers and different things like that. You want to make sure, seriously, that you guys are uh, maximizing the amount of points that you can accumulate on different types of cards to use them for free travel, free flights, free hotels, or even just use them for cash back to reinvest into your business. Now, like I said, the cards that I just mentioned are going to be really great cards for you guys, um, especially myself, for a few things. They have really great bonus offers. I know right now that the Chase Sapphire Preferred card has a 60,000 point bonus offer if you spend like $4,000 within the first three months. Now for someone like me, or for someone like you as well, I can spend $4,000 in two weeks. I can spend $4,000 in a month. Just buying inventory, just buying products and different things like that. So for me to get the $4,000 threshold to accumulate 60,000 points that I could use for, I think it's $725 towards travel, that's a free flight or two for me and that's a free hotel just for doing the things I already have planned on doing within my business. Now, I think the, also the Capital One Venture card has like, it's something crazy right now. It's like 70,000, 90,000 points towards miles 
if you reach a certain threshold just by spending the money that you're already going to spend for your e-commerce business. So those are a few reasons why I really like and appreciate these cards here uh, because I know that if I continue to do what I'm doing, I'm going to have a free flight or two in the next week and a half or I'm going to have a free stay at any hotel or like the Hilton Honors card that I have and that I do recommend to you guys. Um, if I just keep doing what I'm doing, I'll be able to stay at a free hotel uh, for a couple of nights for just, like I said, doing what I'm already doing. So it's pretty awesome. I really recommend and encourage this for you guys because who doesn't want to get, you know, stay, I mean, Christmas is coming right up. You're taking a trip, you want a free flight or you want to pay for your family's flight or you want to stay at a free hotel. These cards are perfect for something like that, if, especially if you are buying ads, a lot of inventory, uh, or you're like me, you know, you're doing drop shipping and you're paying, excuse me, $15,000 a month in products or $20,000 a month in products, all just to have, you know, on one card or two cards to maximize on those points, um, which is awesome. And, you know, it's really one reason why I made this video to share this with you guys to let you guys know that uh, something like this is super possible, especially if you have an e-commerce business just like you and I. I'm going to try and leave links for some of these cards, if not all of the cards. I think one of them was my Apple card, so please disregard that. Yeah, one was my Apple card. If you guys can see that, I think the light might be in the way. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so one of them is my Apple card. Um, doesn't really have many benefits. 1% cash back on everything, pretty much. 2% cash back on your select scores, stores and 3% cash back at your Apple store, they have another offer for Nike right now, but I don't really use it for, I mean, it's my, it's one of my dailies. I use it just because it's convenient with my, with Apple Pay, my wallet. Other than that, you know, I'm not really, it's not a car that I really would recommend to many people. Anyways, to kind of wrap up this video, um, like I said, I'll try and leave links for these cards below for you guys to check them out. If not, I'll just leave a whole list of the cards for you guys to just kind of check them out, look at them, see if the offers are appealing. Um, I do, do believe if you go through nerdwallet.com and you just basically make an account there. This isn't like an affiliate. This isn't like a referral. This is just my personal recommendation. If you guys make a free account there on nerdwallet.com. Uh, you guys should be able to see what your approval odds are without having any card increase on your account. Or just go to capitalone.com slash preapproval or capitalone.com preapproval, -pre chase.com, American Express, pre-qualify. Do a soft, um, like a really, it's not even a credit application. It's a soft pull on your account, which does not affect your score at all. Just basically see what cards you might be able to get uh, based on the recommendations that the, the issuers themselves will give to you. But guys, thank you so much for staying tuned for this video. I hope this helped some of my e-commerce uh, guys and gals out there who are looking to see what kind of cards are out there uh, to get the most points, travel, rewards, cash back for your e-commerce business. I hope this video helped you guys. If you found value out of it, please give it a like, as well as subscribe, join the fam, you know, for more videos just like this, or for my latest updates uh, to anything that's in the credit world, anything that's in the finance world. But thank you guys so much for staying tuned for another video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to help. Uh, but until then, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.